Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at a another uh, Spicy Games uh, game. That sentence made a lot of sense. This is put out by Goliath Games. This one is called Sugar Cubes. This is another Fast Furious type of game. Uh, it's aimed for eight and up, two to six players. And this is one of those easy to learn, uh, real simplistic type games, real compact. So let's open this up and see what we've got in here. Like a lot of the other uh, games that we've looked at that are aimed more for uh, non-gamers, this one is um, pretty easy to learn and anyone can really play it. We've looked at some of the other spicy games. We looked at uh, Coffee Break and Salt and Pepper. And uh, this one should be about the same. Uh, the sticker's kind of cheap. It's in a spice bottle. Uh, this one's blue, obviously, to help to make it distinctive. The lids are kind of garbage. They don't really stay shut, so you'll want to store it standing up if possible. Otherwise, everything will fall out. Now, in here, we've got some dice and a timer. Oh. Now, um, you're going to have eight dice, the sand timer, and the instructions. With the instructions... You'll want to take the lid off or it'll get really destroyed and then pull it out. Uh, the instructions are super easy. It's a couple paragraphs on a sheet of, folded sheet of paper. That's it. And you fold it and that's how to win the game, which is pretty straightforward. The player with the highest score after seven rounds wins. Now um, in salt and pepper they gave you a, a score sheet. The others don't do that, so you might need a sheet of paper or something to jot notes down on. But these are lettered, and they're all different from the look of it. The, some of them look the same, they'll have the same letters, like here we got A, G, L, T, and then we're back to the A, and then F, L, M, and then back to the A. Whereas this other A goes from A to C, S, B, and then back to A, and then M, S, F, A. So it really is kind of, it's got the same, a lot of the same stuff on it, uh, but this one doesn't have a C, so they're very, very similar, but they're not the same. And I'll, I'll just put the dice out so you can see them, and rotate them slowly as I speak. As I talk. Hopefully that shows up okay on camera. So the sand timer is um, kind of cheap actually. It's, I think it's a 30 second timer from the look of it. It's probably one of these games uh, from what I can tell that where you roll it and try and spell words. And that's fine. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's an easy to replace timer. I'm guessing it's 30 seconds. I'm going to find out here in the instructions. Should tell me. Um, 20 seconds. It's a 20 second timer. Good luck finding a 20 second timer. But yeah, it's, it's kind of cheaply made. So you want to be careful with that. Because it would be real easy for these end pieces to come off. Uh, and to spill this little bit of sand everywhere But yeah, I think that that that's probably okay um, If you're careful with it and don't jostle it around a lot, I think it'd be fine uh, The instruction sheets decent paper no complaint there uh, I don't really see anything Too out of the ordinary with that Sand timer, like I said, I'm a little worried about that. But you can get a 30 second timer somewhere and just play with 30 seconds to set of 20. So I don't think that would be too big of a, a deal uh, to modify the game. Um, you could probably find a, a 20 second timer online, but do you really want to pay the extra for it? The 30 second ones are way more common. Otherwise, yeah, um, the dice are pretty decent quality. You know, they're at least average. 
nothing special. I like that they're a little smaller, make it easier to roll. Um, the printing on them seems okay. Uh, it's not quite centered that well, I don't think. I think they're slightly off center. But I think that's uh, more from cost effective measures, like the M here, you can see it's slightly down by the corner. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, replacing the dice would be the biggest issue I would have with it. So, other than that, I, I think it's it's probably a fine game. And there's probably other stuff you could play with these die, too. I mean, letter or die, you can come up with half a dozen different games if you're looking to create something. So, yeah, this one looks fine. It looks pretty fun. I'd be okay with that. Um, like I said with the other ones, um, I don't think I'd pay more than five bucks for this. It, it's an interesting idea, and I respect what they're trying to do. Make a simple, quick, fun game. But the contents are at least average to low end. The lid on this is garbage. Um, you put any degree of force into this and it starts opening. So even a minor jostling will open the lid. So that's kind of disappointing. And the plastic itself, is it's just an empty spice bottle. So replacing the bottle would actually be fairly easy. The lid might be a pain, but otherwise, uh, yeah, if you find it for less than five bucks, I would say pick it up. Beyond that, um, it's, it's a great game for people that don't want to sit around and play Pandemic with you for two hours. You know, you got a few minutes to kill in between doing some other activities. Yeah, rainy day game, travel game, team building, something to do on coffee break. Yeah, that'd be great for that. And you could get people to play that probably won't play traditional, um, even traditional board games like Connect Four or something. But if somebody's only experience with board games is something like Monopoly or Connect Four, this would be kind of fall into that same schema. Where they could be like, oh, okay, this is vaguely familiar. It's not real complicated. There's not a bunch of zombies or anything. It's a nice, simple game. So, yeah, I would recommend these. Um, if you have a lot of friends that aren't into, like, Cards Against Humanity or something like that, it's a nice change of pace for that. Plus, they, they let you play with, like, this is two to six people, ages eight and up. Uh, anybody that can spell reasonably well should be okay with this one and the other games too uh you just have to kind of be willing to try it and i, I don't think it'd be a big deal to to learn this one so that is sugar cubes from goliath games llc looks like a nice easy game uh but i won't pay more than about five bucks for it but that'll do it for this episode as always thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel and we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.